hello viewers in this video i'm going to explain another method to solve fractional differential equation and this method is known as the power series method using power series method i'm going to solve this differential equation capital fractional derivative from 0 to x of order alpha of y of x is equal to f of x with this zero initial conditions under this method, I assume that the function f of x, which is known function, can be written as a power series representation, a Taylor series at near the point 0, or you can call it the Maclaurin series, f, uh, the nth derivative of f at the point 0 over n factorial into x to the power n. And of course, this, since this is a power series, it must have some interval of convergence. Assume that x lies between 0 and some number capital R and in this region this series is convergent okay our primary task is to find the value of unknown in the fractional differential equation where the unknown function is y of x so I assume that y of x is can be written as a power series x to the power alpha summation from m0 to infinity c n x to the power n where c n are the constants which need to be determined and this can be written as summation from n0 to infinity c n x to the power n plus alpha so all i need is to find the values of unknown constants c n and once i have those constants i will plug it here and this is the solution a power series solution okay how i can do this i just need to plug the value of y of x here and f of x here and just i need to apply the fractional derivative and then I will compare the powers of x and I will try to get the value of cm. It's very simple and elegant method. Let's start it. Okay, first we need to plug the value of uh, y of x and f of x in the given fractional differential equation. So it becomes d from 0 to x of order alpha of y of x, which have this power series notation, summation from n 0 to infinity, c n x to the power n plus alpha is equal to function f of x which have this power series relation summation from n 0 to infinity f with nth derivative at the point 0 over n factorial x to the power n okay now i need to apply the capital fractional derivative inside the summation series so it can be written as summation n from 0 to infinity c n and fractional derivative from 0 to x of order alpha to the x with power n plus alpha so i need to calculate this fractional derivative and on the right hand side everything will remain as it is okay in previous lectures i have explained the formula to calculate the fractional derivative capital fractional derivative of x to the power n let's if we have x to the power n the its formula is gamma n plus 1 whole over gamma minus alpha plus 1 into x to the power n minus alpha this is the formula we'll use and calculate the fractional derivative of this x to the power n plus alpha so this becomes summation n from 0 to infinity 0 to infinity and c n and it becomes gamma of n plus 1 here n is n plus alpha and plus 1 and in the denominator gamma n plus alpha minus alpha plus 1 and x to the power n which is n plus alpha and minus alpha and, and on the right hand side the series remains as it is okay now a little simplification okay now from left hand side a little simplification alpha cancels out here and here and i will get this one and the right hand side remains as it is okay now know that two polynomial are equal only if they have the same coefficients 
here you can see that x to the power n lies here and x to the power have the same x to the power n lies here so we can compare the coefficients which becomes here i missed the cn so it is cn gamma n plus alpha plus 1 whole over gamma n plus 1 is equal to f with nth derivative at the point 0 over n factorial which we can write with gamma notation gamma of n plus 1 and this cancels out and here is equal to the nth derivative of n at the point 0 over gamma so this is the value of cn from here plugging this value back into our assumed solution so this is the value of cn plugging back this value into our assumed solution y of x which we have assumed that summation and from 0 to infinity cn x to the power n plus alpha so it becomes now summation n from 0 to infinity and value of cn so plugging the value of cn we get this solution okay we'll take one example to illustrate the idea let's solve this differential equation capital derivative from 0 to x of order 1 by 2 of y of x is equal to exponential function e to the power k of x where with this initial condition y of 0 is equal to 0 okay since we know that this exponential function e to the power kx can be written as summation from n0 to infinity kx to the power n over n factorial and we assume that our y of x can be written as summation n from 0 to infinity c n x to the power n plus alpha here alpha is 1 by 2 so this becomes summation n from 0 to infinity c n x to the power n plus half okay plugging this value back into equation we get summation from n 0 to infinity c n x to the power n plus half and then on the right hand side summation and from 0 to infinity k x to the power n over n factorial calculate this fractional derivative inside the summation we get we apply this over here and this becomes gamma n plus 1 n is n plus half so plus 1 and in the denominator it has gamma of n which is n plus half minus alpha which is half and plus 1 and x to the power n minus alpha n is here n plus half and minus 1 by 2 which is alpha and right hand side the series remain as it is from this infinity and k x to the power n over n factorial a little simplification and this becomes summation n from 0 to infinity and c n gamma at summation n from 0 to infinity k to the power n and in the denominator n factorial which is n gamma n plus 1 Okay, now this cancels out this factor and here comparing the coefficient of xn we get the value of cn which is equal to k which is equal to k to power n over gamma n plus 3 by 2. Plugging this value back into our assumed solution I get y of x is equal to summation n from 0 to infinity cn which is k to the power n over gamma n plus 3 by 2 into x to the power n plus alpha half half so this is my solution so 
so you can see that using power series method we can easily find the solution of given fractional differential equation but there are some drawback of this method the first is we must have to know the power series representation of this known function f of x and since here it has only constant coefficients but in the case when we have a fractional differential equation with more terms and one of the coefficients is no longer constant but a function of x we also need the power representation of that function so we can apply power series method only on those fractional differential equation and that contains all the known functions have some power series representation okay and secondly since this uh, you can observe that here we could able to compare the coefficients of x to the power n on both sides because in both sides we have x to the power n uh, and this is because the given known function exponential here have the power series representation which contain x to the power n but we know that there are also functions uh, which do not have in the power series representation that contains x to the power n like sine function which have x to the power 2n plus 1 a cosine function which has x to the power 2n if we have that function here so if we have power 2n here uh, and here x to the power n so we cannot compare we need to first make the powers of x same which is not easy for every function because it might put you in trouble so we need to adjust the value of y of x here we need to adjust the value of we need to, we need to just to take the value such that whenever we plug here it have always the same power so we can compare it so for this we need to take some other assumption of y of x so in the next video i will explain this issue and i will address how we're going to cover that issue and how we're going to solve a fractional differential equation which have the known function whose power series do not have just power x to the power n but other powers. Thank you for watching.